Hello everyone and welcome to another What I Think review and today we're going to be looking at a new figure set. This is the new character online exclusives so it's only available through the character options website and it is the Warriors from the Deep set with, for the first time ever from character options, classic Silurians. I am absolutely overjoyed to see these getting released um, because the Silurians are such a definitive classic design and I've always had a slight uh, bone of contention that they change them so much for the new series which is why at the time of recording this we, it's literally just been revealed that the uh, Sea Devils are coming back and they are relatively unchanged so I am looking forward to that. So it's great to see these uh, these Silurians um, released. Obviously very nicely presented in the box. We've got nice uh, view of them all from the front. We've obviously got the three in there. Uh, little side view. There's a nice bit of interior work going on which we'll come back to in a minute but if we turn it round we can see on the back here we have lots of information about uh, the actual episode um, itself and without giving reading through the whole thing. It certainly seems that this is actually a plot synopsis for the whole episode because it does end in the way that the episode ends. So it's interesting that they've got a whole plot synopsis there perhaps for those who haven't seen the episode and let them know what's going on. We've then also got a bit of information about the Silurians themselves plus a bit of behind the scenes about uh, the Silurians and the set and, and the costumes and things like that. And uh, I'm going to get this wrong. I'm just going to refer to them as the Silurians uh, because otherwise I will keep forgetting. But we have in this pack Iktar, Tarpok and Cybus. I think that's how they're pronounced. I'm probably getting that wrong, but it's nice again that they've got that little bit of information telling us, you know, the names of the uh, of uh, the Silurians on there. It really does look fantastic to see all this information on the back of these uh, and on the back of these boxes. As you know, I previously mentioned with some of the uh, earlier triple packs, they didn't have this sort of information on there. Um, you know, and it was just it's just nice to see it because it, it, it does make a difference I think and makes these sets a bit more um, a bit more collectible. I think a little bit of knowledge uh, it, You know, it certainly improves uh, people's interest in this, but let's get into having a look at what we've got inside So here we have the box artwork interior and it's actually three-dimensional which is Fantastic. I love I love the fact that you know, we're getting this sort of uh, level of effort put into these uh, interior box designs. Um, I think this is probably because it's a character options exclusive, they can put a little bit more uh, budget into these things, but you know what, that makes these sets all the more all the more worthwhile, I think, and uh, it would certainly be nice to see them do something on this level of a, you know, a, that uh, for them to do something with the B&M in future. Um, you know, not to not to play down the, the B&M ones, they're very nice, but just this little added extra of having a bit of um, a bit of three-dimensionalness to this is fantastic. Obviously, I don't really want to take it apart, but obviously you can see that there is the, um, I have to do it like that because the camera, sh <laughs> the light shine. You can see that there is obviously the base and bits in the background. It does look like there are some little, uh, some little symbols and things like that. There's probably an Easter egg or two on there as well. Um, I can't see any on the main part here. There's a little bit of writing here, which I should just say that's a, a credit for the person that's created this, um, Interior box art, uh, Jim Sangster. Very well done to you, Jim. This is absolutely phenomenal work. Um, yeah, as far as I can see, there aren't any Easter eggs on this bit. There's probably some behind here, but again, I don't want to be pulling this interior card apart to uh, to have a look at them. I might probably get another of these sets when they come out in future, um, or when they come out. Um, I say in future again. I'm recording this in advance. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I think I probably will get another one and, and you know, I might do a little take it apart and uh, see what's in there because uh, as some of you may know, um, I did it when I took apart the, uh, I took apart a, um, a Abominable Snowman interior card. I bought another one and I did, when I did my custom um, uh, Fury from the Deep one and there were actually some, uh, some little, uh, 
Easter eggs and, and references to things, a couple of Blake 7 references, because I know Al's a, a fan of Blake 7, um, actually hidden inside the folds of the card, because obviously when, when they were designed, they were put on there, and then unfortunately they were hidden by the fold. So uh, I don't know, you know, there may be some references in here that I can't see without taking it apart. We will see. But enough of this waffling on about this, frankly, still excellent interior. Let's have a look at the figures themselves. And so here we have our Silurian figures. Obviously, as you can see, I've got all three here on the podium. Um, they all, to me, look, I think, basically the same in terms of the overall colouring. Um, obviously, they've got the nice little fins on the back as well, which I'll come back to in a minute. Um, the only difference that I can really notice is this one coming around at the front here. You can see he has the red light on his head. Again, I probably should know which characters these are. I have the names on the box, but I don't. But um, other than that, it does seem like they are all basically, as far as I can see, the same. But, you know, that's not a, that's, you know, not a criticism in any way, because I know that, you know, people are going to want more than, uh, you know, more than one of these. And, you know, it, 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 this is going to be a good one for those people that want to army build. You know, that's going to be the nice thing about it, that I can certainly see this being um, being a popular one for that, uh, for that reason. Um, now, in terms of the build of these figures, um, I have to say that I think we have actually got an entirely new figure here, because obviously I can't be a hundred percent sure about the torso area because I'd have to take the figure apart and obviously for obvious reasons I don't want to do that but when you look at it you know the hands are new the arms elbows near, all of it you know all of the parts that are visible are brand new so I think this is an entirely newly sculpted figure um, which is fantastic you know it's, it's brilliant to know that that, that is the option for these character options exclusives that they really can start to give us entirely new things if that's the case you know I've, I've got no problem with them reusing old sculpts and things to give us new parts you know things like for example the TARDIS it works obviously to give us the uh, uh, to give us the abominable snowman variant with the different doors and even the the abominable snowman second doctor figure you know with the coat it's it's great to see them reusing old parts and, and things like that but to know that it means that entirely new figures like this on um, are also on the cards is absolutely brilliant I really think it's fantastic um, but it would also be remiss of me and on the basis that this is an entirely new uh, sculpt to uh, not go over the articulation that these uh, figures have because obviously with other figures you know the new parts you are so sort of expect the articulation to be in the same places of which it usually is and you know there's a lot of the same articulation on these ones but at the same time if these are new figures it's interesting to see if all of the articulation points are the same or if there are some new ones or perhaps some I can think I can see at least one that may not in fact be there so let's take a look so here we have one of the Silurian figures they do all appear on a little bit of off-camera inspection to be all the same apart from the minor paint variations so I don't think there's any differences in terms of their articulation but going from the legs up so we have uh, foot uh, articulation the foot swivel so those turn around we have the usual knee articulation the uh, thigh articulation and a ball joint on the uh, a ball joint on the hips the hips themselves have a little bit of movement obviously not a huge amount because this uh, piece of plastic the torso piece is hard and it does mean that you can't really bend them outwards that way um, so you can't really get them into a sitting position but you know the articulation still there uh, the hands are articulated round elbow articulation no bicep articulation but it does have a ball joint in the shoulder so it does mean you do have a a degree of articulation there as well obviously we've got the nice little bit of detailing on this arm of the uh, control arm unit whatever you want to call it and on the back here obviously you've got their little bits of spine uh, which are very nice that's obviously a slightly separate piece to the rest of the of the torso that's obviously fixed in um, but this is a bit of articulation I don't think it really has got is the head is obviously as you would expect fixed in place it's got a tiny bit of give but I wouldn't necessarily call that articulation, or I wouldn't say that that was intended to be articulation, um, because it is meant to fit in there. But again, you know, I don't think they really turn their heads much, as far as I can remember. 
So I think in terms of articulation, I can understand why that's not there. Um, but yeah, overall, the articulation does seem to be um, all there as you would normally expect it to be. Um, there's no new points of articulation, and in terms of the articulation it hasn't got, as I said just now, the head, understandable, and obviously the hips, not quite, and obviously you can't put it into a sitting position, but do you know what? I'm going to let... You know, I'm, I'm not going to gripe about that one to, to CO because I will bet you that the original costumes didn't have that degree of articulation in them either. So, you know, whilst I'm sure people would go, oh, it's a shame you can't make them put them in a sitting position and things like that. Well, to be fair, the actors probably couldn't <laughs> get into a sitting position either. So you could actually argue that by not having the, the figures being able to go into a sitting position is, um, is actually screen accurate. So... Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't think that's a, you know, I don't think that's a gripe that's going to come up, but I, I'm sure it's going to, I'm sure I'm going to see somewhere that people are, you know, someone's going to make a point of saying, well, what's the point in having that, you know, movement of articulation in the hips or in the, in the, in the, you know, hip area if you can't sit them down? It's like, well, it, it's a, it's a figure, it's a toy, you know, it's not meant to be 100% screen accurate and, you know, and it's not meant to be a, it's not meant to be, you know, all completely movable. It's a, it's a display piece, it's a play piece and, Frankly, most children who play with this aren't probably going to be that bothered about about them doing that because their imaginations will fill that bit in. Um, but again, you know, also from a production perspective, chances are the costumes weren't any better. So I can understand why it would have been difficult to to make it. You know, this is a this is a hard plastic piece. This uh, this mid torso section. Um, it's got a little bit of it's got a little bit of give in the uh, in the sculpt, but at the same time, I can understand why it would have been very difficult for them to to give them that bit of extra hip articulation whilst retaining the look of the of the sculpt. You know, if you wanted to if you wanted to have that level of our hip articulation, you'd either have to make this out of a very spongy plastic, or you'd have to have a cut out there so the legs could come out. And I think that would that would ruin it. You know. Um, I think it, I think they've they've made the right call by uh, by limiting the articulation because at the end of the day, it does look as it should look, and I think that's what's that's what's more important to uh, to people that collect these figures. Um, at least that's that's my view of it. I think you know you you have to accept that you can't have it's a toy, yes, but it's also a collectible figure. And if you want it as a collectible figure, you want accuracy. If you want it as a toy, you want articulation. You can't always have both. That's 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 my two cents on that matter. So in closing here, we have the Silurians back into their little uh, nest spaceship type thing. I really should watch these episodes before I do these reviews and I know what all this stuff is. <laughs> or at least it would come back to my mind. But, you know, this is, uh, this, that sort of in a way sums up my point is you don't need to know what all this is to know that you look at that and think that looks absolutely amazing. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, I, given everything I've just said about the, you know, the articulation on the waist and things like that, that's one of those things that is just part of it. But again, that's not a gripe to me. And I find it looking at this and I think this is again, another one of those sets that I look at it and think, I really have nothing bad to say about this in any way, shape, or form, and I, or even just you know, even just constructive criticism-wise, you know, I, I like to try and keep my um, uh, criticisms constructive. I know that's one of the reasons why uh, I I do get <laughs> get these things is Al likes the fact that I'm honest about this stuff. But um, no, I really I really can't think of anything negative or even you know constructive criticism that I would say to change about this set. I think it's absolutely phenomenal, and I certainly think these are going to be out of stock extremely quickly um, probably more so than the second Doctor TARDIS because they are just absolutely fantastic looking figures um, as I said I'm certainly going to get myself um, a another set partly to you know I want to keep this one boxed obviously I don't like to customize my advanced samples but you know I definitely want to do um, I definitely want to do a couple of, uh, of custom ones for these but the nice thing about this as well is, obviously this is Warriors from the Deep, not the Silurians, but it does obviously mean that there's a distinct possibility that we could get a Silurians set in future. You know, it would. I think that would definitely be one that, uh, that would be worth 
them investing in. And I mean, for all we know, this is just speculation on my part, but maybe the reason that Character Options has done this one as an exclusive is they can put the money into making this sculpt and get the sale out of this, but they can then reuse this sculpt later to give us a B&M Silurians set. It's, uh, it is something that's worth noting and worth thinking about. Whether they do that or not uh, is, a, is another matter, but I think the likelihood of us seeing some sort of Silurians based set in future would be would be likely, possibly, I mean, obviously I would say, off the top of my head, if I had to make a guess, obviously a Silurian, um, I would then say a third Doctor using the uh, Series 1 Captain Jack um, overalls body, uh, but with a new third Doctor head with the hard hat sculpt, and then the other figure would either be two, it would either be two Silurians or Possibly, I think, maybe a, another Brigadier figure. Either way, there is a great possibility for a, for a B&M Silurian set in future, and I certainly hope that's the way, uh, that's the way that things are going. Uh, but that brings to a close another What I Think review. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And be sure to click the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation, and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so, and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you in another video very soon.